Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Beehive Newsletter. So there's going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to go to their official website, which is going to be beehive.com. Now from their website, we first need to basically view their features as well as the pricing that they offer. So in this case, you can go ahead and click on features here and you should be able to see the features that they offer. So one of them is to launch websites, send newsletters, grow your list, monetize your content, and from then on, repeat the whole cycle, which is a great way for you to basically share content that you create. Now, just to give you an idea, Beehive is a great uh, is a great platform for people who already know who uh, what are their niche and uh, what they want to write about. So this is uh, more on uh, like for example, you already know your identity, your brand identity, and you know what topics that you want to share. And you also, if you want to also monetize your content or start earning from that, you know, in this case, you Beehive has your back. In this case, what is the pricing for Beehive here? So when we go to the pricing tab here, we have the following options. So we have the enterprise, max, scale, and launch. Now enterprise here is going to be a custom pricing option, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, basically get specific features tailored for you. So the pricing itself might uh, be variable depending on what you need for your business. Now, we also have Max here, which is $99 per month, which is billed a monthly, and the $39 a per month option, which is for scale. Now, depending on the plan that you get here, you'll be able to uh, leverage a specific number of features. But the great thing about Beehive here is they actually have a free plan that you could use, which is the launch uh, plan here, which in this case is going to be $0, so you don't need to pay for anything. So this actually supports up to 2,500 subscribers, which is something really, really awesome. Now you can also create websites, newsletters, analytics, or events and unlimited emails here. So if you want to get started with the launch plan here, let's go and click on get started with launch. And from here, we just need to complete a few things. So you need to provide your name, your email, as well as the password you want to use for your account. But in this case, I'm going to actually use my Google account here to create my account. Let's go and click on Google, click on confirm. And from here, that should initiate the process of creating your account. But as you can see, I already have an account here. So let me just switch over to my account and basically lock in. So currently, I'm logged in into my account. So we need to first discuss what are the different sections that we can access here in Beehive. So first, we are in our dashboard. So as you can see, this is our dashboard. So our dashboard contains general information about our account. So for example, your current active subscribers, your open rate for your newsletter, as well as the click rate. Now, we also have our information about our audiences, our engagement, and monetization. So basically, the dashboard here will contain general information that you need. So for example, if you need to have that quick information about how your um, account or how your uh, newsletter are actually uh, improving or is currently uh, working right now, how people perceive it. Well, in this case, this is the uh, section where you will be able to get those such information. Now, in this case, you have uh, other tools here as well, like for example, the uh, streaks here, you have the resources, tutorials, if you need further tools on Beehive here. Now, in this case, at the left panel here, we have the start writing section, which in this case, you could basically start writing your content. So you could either start from blank or use a template if you want to. Now, before we start writing here, we first need to discuss other tools. So let's just proceed with other tools here. So we have the post section. The post here will contain different posts that you've already created. So in this case, if you want to uh, view them, like for example, if you have posts for featured or scheduled, published traps, so depending on the uh, current status of that post, you should be able to filter them. You can even search them if you want to. Now, if you want to also manage your content tag, you can go and click on content, manage content tags and manage the tags that you have for your content. Now, in this case, let's go and go back into post. But yeah, so if you want to delete a post here, you could go and click on the three dotted icon here and choose delete or even duplicate or edit or view them. Now, if you want to delete multiple items, you can go and click on the checkbox next to it and choose the delete option here. Now, 
what is the audience here well audience here we contain your audience so for example this is going to be your subscribers your segments any automations that have results from polls or your polls your surveys and even the subscribe forms they have for your account so anything relating or about your audience is where you will be able to view them or edit them now grow section here will contain a way for you to grow your audience or even grow your uh, newsletter here like for example they have a means of using or creating their file programs recommendations magic things or even boosting your um uh, newsletter here now you also have the monetize section which in this case from the name itself is actually pretty good because monetization allows you to start earning on the content that you actually publish yourself so they have the capabilities of adding ads, doing subscriptions, or even boosting them. Also have the design section, which in this case allows you to be, uh, w build your websites, build your newsletter here, which in this case, from the name itself, allow you to design your website or your newsletter. Analyze here contains different reports that you could use for your account. So for example, if you have if you want information about your subscribers, you can go to subscriber report here. You can even have the post report here, how your reports are doing. You have the click reports here. But in order to use the other tools that you see here, you need to upgrade your plan to a specific one. Like for example, for you to use Analyze here, they require you to upgrade to a scale plan for you to utilize them. So in this case, how do we get started? First things first is you need to add your audience. So in this case, you can go ahead and click on subscribers here. And from here, you could go ahead and click on import subscribers. Now from here, you could go ahead and click on the start new import. And from here, you could basically upload your CSV files. So in this case, you could either choose a meta here. Like for example, if you want to upload your subscribers via a uh, CSV file, you can go ahead and do it. You could also enter them manually. So just to give just to give an idea, I'm going to enter a subscriber here. Let's go ahead and enter their email. And once we've added that, let's go ahead and add them into our account. Let's go ahead and click on import subscriber. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on import. And as you can see, we've now imported that specific subscriber. Now let's go ahead and go back into our account here. And as you can see, we now have one audience here in our dashboard. Let's go back into audiences and subscriber. As you can see, we now have one subscriber here. Now, if you want to add custom fields in your subscribers, you can go and do that. You can even add tags to it if you want to, to further uh, categorize your subscribers here, your subscribers here if you want. So in this case, if you want to start managing them, you could go ahead and click on their name and even change a few things like their unique referral link here, acquisition details, costs and fields if you want to, tags and whatnot, and automation history. This is where you'll be able to view those data. Now, in this case, uh, let's go ahead and go back again. Now, once you've added your audience here, we are now ready to start writing. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on the start writing at the top here and you could either use a template or use a draft. So I'm going to use a template here just to give an idea. So let's go ahead and click on new template. And from here, you could go ahead and start uh, creating or create your new template here. So for example, my name here is going to be a test newsletter. From here, you could go ahead and start adding your content. So for example, I'm going to say uh, this is a new content I want to create. And from here, you could go ahead and just add whatever here. So if you want to use or utilize other section here, you could go ahead and click on the plus button and you can even add images, black codes, columns, file attachments, headings. So if you're familiar on the uh, different builders out there, it's actually quite similar to that. So for example, we want to add a button here. Let's go and choose the button here. And from here, let's go and choose subscribe. Now in this case, uh, it will add a subscribe button here, which in this case, you can even change the text if you want to, or even um, change the link itself. But in this case, it's going to automatically add the subscribe button as well. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on this one. It's screwed, open up a new section, which in this case, they are so people could actually start subscribing to your uh, newsletter. Now you can change the text itself, make it bigger if you want to, change your options like colors and whatnot, or even delete it if you want to. Now, for example, I want to also add an image here. So for example, let's go choose image and we want to upload one. Now from here, let's go and choose our image. So for example, I want to use this one, click on open, and we should now have our picture added in here. 
In this case, it's actually pretty easy to manage this one. So as long as you're familiar with uh, our ed ed editor out there, if you use Canva, it's quite similar to that. If you use uh, WordPress before, again, it's quite similar to that if you're going to ask me. Now, once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save at the bottom right here. And from here, as you can see, we have our new uh, newsletter, which is going to be test newsletter here. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and start using this one by clicking on the use this template at the top, right? So in this case, the uh, folder here will be automatically added. So no worries on that. Let's go ahead and click on the use this template. Now from here, once you've used the template, you could go and start editing or adding the other content that you also want to add here. So for example, maybe I want to edit the title or if you want to add uh, other text here or want to type anything. So you could go ahead and do that as well. So it depends on your niche, depending on the content that you want to actually publish. Now, for example, you could go ahead and add a new post here. So let's just say there's going to be a new post one. You could go ahead and add your subtitle, the orders itself. So I'm going to add myself. Now you could also add your guest authors here if you want to. And yeah, so in this case, you have uh, the new guest author if you want to also add a new one. Uh, show byline email, hide from feed if you want to. And uh, you could also change the email settings here if you want to, like subject line, go an A and B test here, preview text and no, not an advanced option here if you want to read online URL. Also have the website option here, which includes the slug, the advanced email capture, the thumbnail that will appear in here. I have your SEO if you want to further improve this one, like the title, description. Also have the delivery here, which in this case, uh, you should be able to choose who you want to actually send to. So in this case, you could send this to all your subscribers or free subscribers. You have the include a segment here if you want to, but you need to improve, uh, get the upgrade plan here for you to further use it. And in this case, we have the web access summary here and web. So in this case, uh, once you provide all those details, you can go ahead and click on the preview option here to preview it. Now, if you want to send a test email, you can go ahead and click on send test and just enter the selected or simulated subscriber here. Click on send. That should send a test email. And yeah, so preview here allows you to view it in mobile or even in web if you want to. So yeah, if you want to preview them, preview them just to make sure that everything actually works, uh, it should uh, be available here. Now in this case, once you provide all the details, you go and click on select schedule here. And from here, just start scheduling. Or if you want to publish this now, you could go ahead and select that. But if you choose schedule, just you choose you just need to choose the publish date. And from then on, you should be able to send out or start sending out your um, newsletter. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.